The newest exhibit at the Cincinnati Zoo is our nocturnal exhibit called Night Hunters, and you will not believe some of the great creatures in there. Come on, let's look inside, but be sure to take off your sunglasses. Your eyes really do have to adjust when you come in Night Hunters, but we've got some of the coolest predators in the world, including one of the world's largest owls called the Eurasian Eagle Owl. We even have video footage of them in flight. We also have some unusual predators you may never have seen before. These are called Fossa or Fusa. They are from the island of Madagascar. In fact, they were made famous by the original kids cartoon called Madagascar. Another thing that makes the Night Hunters exhibit fun is that there's all sorts of sounds as well as sights that really set the scene for you being out in the woods or in the wilds in the dark. Perhaps the coolest thing at Night Hunters is that at a number of exhibits, we have special hidden feeding tubes so the keeper can come at random times. And whether their favorite food is a piece of beef or even in some insects like crickets, they can put those in and you'll see the animal eating and showing all sorts of interesting natural behaviors. A neat new species here at the Cincinnati Zoo is the aardwolf. This is a species that comes from East Africa and is an interesting animal that's very elusive and hard to see in the wild. An interesting fact about aardwolves is though they're big enough and sometimes will prey on vertebrates, their preferred food are termites. We've added some very interesting exhibitry here in Night Hunters. In this case, you've got a small prosimian called a pato. They live in the forests of Africa. But as you look through into the exhibit itself behind it, you'll have animals that might prey on them in the wild. We moved the most popular of the animals from our nocturnal house over here to Night Hunters. Among them, vampire bats, which have always been a favorite. We have over 30 right now and hope to grow that colony because they have a lot more space. This is their cave area where they'll hang and roost at night and day. But when they want to forage, they'll fly through out into this forested exhibit, and that's where they get to drink their cow blood. And a couple of the favorites from our nocturnal house also moved over, the African aardvarks. As before, they're in with giant fruit bats, which hang above them. And Night Hunters is also home to our small cats here at the Cincinnati Zoo. You may know we lead the world in small endangered wildcat conservation. And here in Night Hunters, you'll see lots of ways to learn not just what the zoo is doing for small cat conservation, but how you can get involved as well in helping save species. As you come into our rotunda area, you'll also see lots of interactives. We have a phenomenal program that we use in other parts of the zoo, but here it's focused on the cats. It's called Wild Research. And you can do things such as create your own poster to help save wildlife and send that to your friends via email. And the Cincinnati Zoo is proud to also be the world capital of bear cat exhibits. This new exhibit for bear cats has two animals in it, and someday we hope they'll even have babies. But we're proud to have the UC mascot in a great new exhibit here at Night Hunters. And then you're back out in daylight. Yes, it's time for sunglasses again. But it also helps you remember that the majority of animals on Earth, whether it's insects or mammals, are more active when we're asleep. Be sure to come down to the Cincinnati Zoo this summer and see our new exhibit, Night Hunters.